does it matter uh, if paper is acid free? How can we tell if it is? I'm looking specifically at the Erodia web notebook. Okay, great question. Acid free um, is much more common these days. Um, it was a period around the 1930s where um, paper started to uh, have a, a lot, you know, a lot of lignin in it, which is what causes a lot of the acidity in paper, and that causes uh, degradation of the paper over a relatively short period of time. It causes it to yellow, degrade, crack, um, and it's not good for not even necessarily archival purposes, but even just lasting a single person's lifetime. Usually archival, you're thinking hundreds of years, um, 500 to maybe a thousand years. Um, but when you're getting into the situation of, you know, having acidity in your paper, having a lot of lignin, that creates degradation very quickly. So most decent paper made these days is acid free um, because that has just kind of become more of the standard. Um, but a lot of manufacturers will specifically advertise them as being acid free. Rhodia is one of them. They are acid free pH neutral. So you're going to be in good shape. I looked on the outside sleeve of the Rhodia and it doesn't actually say acid free on the packaging itself. Uh, but I can tell you that it is. So you're in good shape there. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, I would look if it's something that you really want to, you know, journal and archive for, you know, a couple of lifetimes. I would try to look somewhere to see if you can find that it is specifically acid free. Or if you have any questions and we don't have it, we have a Q&A section on our site or you can shoot us an email and we're happy to answer. There's also a really good, if you want to learn even more details about like what makes paper acidic and stuff like that, um, you can check out Wikipedia it has a really good page called Acid Free Paper and explains a lot of why and how and what and all this kind of stuff, more so than I've explained here.